What's up, my people? Jeremy here with episode six of Next Level Students. Let's get it. Jeremy Anderson, I got two questions for you. The first one is, who is your role model? That's just kind of curious. And the second one is, what do you do for fun in addition to speaking? That's a pretty cool question. So who is my role model and what do I do for fun? Listen to me, when my dad came in my life, everything kind of really shifted for me. So he's definitely a role model. Um, Dr. Eric Thomas, ET the Hip Hop Preacher, one of the top motivational speakers in the world. He's uh, one of my role models. And then I look for people who are successful, people who bounce back in life. Like I love people who have like really rough upbringings, who really struggled, who had to fight their way out of it. Like I wanna be around people like that. People who know how to fight through adversity, who go through hard times and they don't want to complain, woe is me. They say this will not defeat me and I will bounce back. So I adopt role models from all over the globe. And and what do I do for fun? Uh, I play Barbies with my daughter. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I got a five-year-old daughter and she's her only child and she needs somebody to play with. So she kind of nominated me. And then uh, I like to work out. I work out in the gym. You know, I made this desk here. So I'm into like uh, woodwork and stuff like that. So yeah, that's what I do. But what moves me the most is when I speak life to kids across the country. All right, question number two. Let's get it. Jeremy, my question is, what advice can you give a freshman going into college and on his way to start life? That's a good question. So what advice would I give someone going into college? Get ready, get ready, get ready. Listen to me, you're gonna have to be strategic to really prioritize you know, your day. The same thing with middle school. When you transfer and cross over from middle school to high school, two totally different worlds, and you gotta be intentional. Because if you're not intentional about being successful, you'll accidentally end up being a failure. It's the same thing when you go from high school to college. You wanna be focused. So my advice for you is to first things first, handle your business, schoolwork, the parties, hanging out, kicking it, the games, that stuff is gonna come. But you're not there to party. You ain't there to have fun and hang out. You ain't there to meet friends and go to ball games you were there to get an education so make the main thing the main thing and that main thing will make you in life all right question number three let's get it I want to ask how do you overcome losing a classmate to death you know that's a deep question you know how do you overcome losing a classmate to death and let me just say I'm sorry you know uh, many of you in Harlem I, I, I feel your pain you know, that young 18-year-old young man, he got murdered, and I know that hurt, you know. He got shot outside of his home. And for many of you, he was a classmate. You know, he was a, he was a teammate, and he was a friend. So my condolences to you. You know, how do you overcome that? Is you gotta, it's almost like you gotta live for them, because they not here no more. So now you gotta live for them. So you gotta ask yourself, man, how would T handle this situation? I wanna make T proud. You know, let that be what fuels you. Hey, T ain't here to play ball, so let me score that shot for T. T not here to take that test, so let me take that test for T. T not here to graduate, so let me graduate for T. You put T on your back. You go to T's mom and be like, I want you to know something, mama. I got this high school diploma on behalf of your son. I love you. I'm so sorry. You give her a hug. You go to college, because now he don't have a chance to go to college. Listen to me, students. Listen to me. Life is too short. Life is too short, tomorrow's not promised. So when you have loved ones and family members and friends who pass, you still are blessed with life. And so you must take every opportunity that you have to become the absolute best version of you. You, can, you gotta take advantage of life. Take advantage of life. Get everything out of life that you can. You ain't got time to play. You ain't got time to kick it. You gotta handle your business. And there are some people that's not here today that was here yesterday and they wish they was here and you have been gifted with life. And my advice to you, if you really wanna bounce back and what do you do is you live the best life you can and you handle your business and you live life in a way that will make them proud. You know what time it is. It's time for our next level student of the week. I wanna just take a moment and just think about all of the people who are suffering on the inside. All of the students that had to go to school after the tragedy, the massacre that our country dealt with in Las Vegas. 58 people lost their lives from a gunman. I look at him like he a terrorist because he's attacking people within our country. It's sick, the world that we live in. And guess what? Out of all those people who got brutally massacred, they were mothers, they were fathers, they were coaches, 
So I want to dedicate this next level student session to all of you. you. You lost a mother, you lost a father, a grandfather, an aunt, a coach, you lost someone close to you. And there's not a system where you can just skip school for a month or a year. You still got to go to school. You still got to cope with that loss. But you told yourself that you wouldn't let that cripple you. You're going to let that void fill you and fuel you to go to a whole nother level. And so hats off to you because it's hard. It's heavy to bury a loved one, to bury a friend, to bury a family member. And you still got to go to school because life goes on and you still had to bounce back. And that's hard. That's heavy. You know, when you lose a loved one, when someone close to you dies, they're, they're murdered or they die of cancer or they die from a car accident, you know, and you, you're expected to get up and still go to school. It's not easy, but you fight through it and you press on. And that's what makes you a next level student. And so I want to salute every single one of you students who have dealt with a loss of a loved one, but you press on and you kept pushing. That's what I call next level living. And this episode is dedicated to you. Okay, so that wraps up our show for the week. I hope that you were encouraged and inspired. And so do me a favor. If you're an educator, share this video with every single educator in your network. I want to touch every student on the globe. And if you're a student, share this video with your friends and family as well, because we striving to go to that next level. I'll see you next week. Hey, what's up? I hope you enjoyed today's video. And check this out, you gotta subscribe because I've got so many more videos in store for you. And when they come out, I want them to come directly to you. So click subscribe and let's keep building together.